Good morning to everybody. Uh, uh, I am an ancient, <laughs> as, as, uh, as uh, Emana was saying. I know some of you quite well and some of you know not that well. But um, I would like to... I told this before, I, before the seminar that um, uh, I have a personal alcohol problem because how much I, I try to get rid of these alcohol policy businesses, they are always in front of me. <laughs> I have, as, as, as Emmanuel was saying in my unit, there's also other th businesses, but this seems to be, this, this is haunting me. I'm taking the, the watch that I can keep the time. Okay, uh, I should like to welcome you all, dear guests, to this uh, important seminar. Uh, the seminar is uh, organized under the auspices, auspices of so-called RARHA, uh, Project. As Emma was saying, this is uh, a seminar is um, is a co-financed co joint action business. Uh, as Emmanuel was saying, my name is Karipa, so I'm, I'm head of unit for so-called harm prevention in the Ministry of Social Affairs and Health. I am uh, inter alia a former, also a former commission civil servant who among other important things used to evaluate these, uh, these um, public health initiatives, these public health projects. I'm, I really am not an evaluator, but I did them in many years. We didn't have the, we didn't have the, the agency at that time, so we had to do it. We, we as, as civil servants had to do it ourselves, and that was not... I'm still not an evaluator. I hope that they have... And I know that they have made some, but the, the, the business is more uh, organized now. Um, I should like to provide you with some, uh, if you like, um, setting the scene points to kick off the seminar in order to illustrate the, why this initiative is so important. First, uh, what I'm now telling you is not, is not that much news to everybody, but still perhaps going through a few things. First, as we all know, it's very difficult for a single member state to pursue alcohol policies in an isolation or of its own in the EU. The problems are cross-border, of course. Perhaps as we are listening to the news just today, we are listening that, we are hearing that perhaps the UK is leaving us, perhaps the migration problem is creating whatever. So perhaps some parts of, of the border barriers are coming back, but still the causes for alcohol problems are still more and more EU-wide or more and more global. Uh, <coughs> for example, few, a few, 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 uh, a few uh, points. Um, high excise duties, for example. Um, um, Finnish alcohol policy is based on a few cornerstones. First is uh, we have high excise duties, we have restriction on supply and so on. And um, now, when we are talking about uh, alcohol policy in Finland, the industry is always saying that uh, is referring to our members, uh, our neighbor, neighboring countries like Estonia, saying that you cannot do anything because if you do whatever you do, people are going to Estonia buy their alcohol. Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of a, it's, it's creating a bit of mass hysteria. It's, it's if you take a boat across the 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 the, uh, the Baltic Sea or the uh, it takes only a few hours and, and everybody is saying people are going. Still, our revenues from the alcohol are high, so it's not, it's not affecting that much, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it has a psych psychological effect. And then nothing is advertising. Uh, we have quite... Uh, uh, we have restrictions on advertising. We have, for example, I think we are the first country in the world who restrict also advertising on, on the internet. And... Um, Whenever we are discussing the, uh, the restri restrictions on advertising, the industry is of course saying that you cannot do that because youngsters are seeing advertisements all over the, all over the internet, and this this cannot you cannot sort of you cannot succeed in this business. So the industry and the trade is very willingly emphasizing these aspects, these cross border aspects, saying that you cannot do an alcohol poisoning isolation. Second thing, perhaps. If you like, like, I would like to take up uh, to say that it's very difficult to pursue sort of public health-based alcohol policy, be it in the member states or in the EU. Uh, so the interests of the industry and trade are um, 
are emphasized. I'll illustrate you with an example. Uh, <clears throat> the situation is, as we all are well aware, very much different to tobacco. At the, at, at the very moment, uh, we have two, uh, we have a, a heated debate on alcohol. Uh, this week, um, last week, uh, my minister, Mr. Rehula, he, 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 he sort of uh, placed on the, on, on the table his proposals for the new alcohol act. Because we have been doing the total reform of the alcohol act since like uh, five, six years sort of actively and haven't been very successful. And now the other big uh, <coughs> government party is, is, is considering the proposal of, of Mr. Mr. Rehula, and there's a heated debate on that. At the same time, we have a huge package, we have, we have a huge sort of uh, legal initiative on tobacco um, uh, that has been discussed. Uh, it's, it's on the other hand, that it's, it's a total reform of our whole tobacco act. On the other hand, it is, of course, it's as we all know, it's the implementation or transposition of the of the directive. There are big changes there, um, but nobody is like saying, like in alcohol, we are saying, since youngsters are not drinking that much perhaps anymore, we should loosen up the restrictions on alcohol. But nobody is saying that since people aren't smoking anymore, so we should loosen up the restriction on, on tobacco. So uh, it's a it's a total different ball game in tobacco, you know. It's, 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 it's accepted. These restrictions are very much accepted. We discuss perhaps. Uh, with electronic cigarettes and so on, but on the other hand, the alcohol is, is so much, so much diff more difficult. Mm. And the debate, for example, you are you are coming from a place called Europe. For for us Finns, you are Europeans, and uh, we are discussing all the time the European way of drinking, so that that we Finns also should get this kind of European way of drinking. We should look at Emmanuel. Emmanuel is representing the half guard for us because he's Italian, he can drink sort of only with meals and things like this. So when you go out this evening or whenever, you should tell us the Finns because you uh, tell us that you are, you are, I am an European, I'll tell you how to drink. So we will know. Emmanuel, you should do that. Uh, <coughs> so you are, the, you are the ones. Against this back background, it's very encouraging that we with the Radha initiative have a truly cross-border collaboration between the member states but also between the member states and the, and the, the, the Commission. As uh, we are all well aware, I'm always saying we are all well aware, but <laughs> perhaps. So uh, member states have in various occasions requested the Commission to come up with a proposal for a new alcohol strategy. But so far with no avail, so it has been in vain. I'm not accusing our colleagues from the Commission, I, I know that we have colleagues from the Commission, I'm not accusing uh, colleagues from the Commission for not doing this. I know the constraints that you have, but um, anyhow, it has, been a, it has been true and uh, deep request from the, from the co member states that, that we should have a, a new strategy. But, but no, nothing has happened, but I understand the, the I, dear colleagues, I understand your constraints, so no, no accusations, just a statement of facts. Uh, <clears throat> however, uh, since this is the case, that we don't seem to have a new, a new strategy, we perhaps have an have action plan, this initiative is very valuable. We can keep perhaps the torch burning a bit. We are perhaps able to maintain cross-border collaboration based on public health premises. And I would like to emphasize this, based on public health premises. Uh, and it, 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 it's very illustrative when it comes to guidelines. Um, I personally have not been a great believer in, in alcohol guidelines. Uh, uh, I remember in the, in the commission, I was going through, also in Finland, going through the, the, the guidelines in di from different member, list, member states, also from Finland. And I was horrified, <laughs> sort of seeing these guidelines. Do we really have to drink so much? Um, you know that these guidelines are, uh, they are interpreted in, in different ways. Somebody drinks, uh, sees them as a minimum requirement, somebody sees them as a kind of, you know, I have to drink this much in a week to, to, be, to be able to be a, a normal citizen or things like this. And uh, they are really, the, 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 unit, the, the number of units was, uh, has been really big. But um, I happened to see, by the way, perhaps you, you will, today you will hear about the UK guidelines. I happened to read them. I, so, I saw them a few, a few days ago. I have so, so, I've seen some other guidelines. And, um, and I'm really impressed. The, the new guidelines are very good. I mean, they are, very, they, they, are, they are not only that you should drink 
like let, let's say 21 units a week to uh, there are also other things like what to do during a pregnancy what to do things like. so it seems that 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 this uh, this um this initiative is already uh, bearing fruit so that we are also already we are already seeing the results and and an and old uh, like who are not been so much believer i'm starting to believe perhaps these uh, these guidelines uh, with these words and uh, to help the chair which i'm always aware to keep this time and her time i would sort of like to conclude my presentation by by welcoming you all to Finland, it seems that we are now getting winter again. The climate change has reached also us, because we don't have any winter more. This is the one of the few rare occasions when you see a winter day. I, yesterday evening you were in a Russian restaurant, they are always nice. So, uh, and uh, the, you don't have many Russian restaurants outside this Finland, for example, or perhaps Russian. But, um, I would like to welcome you all to Finland to this seminar and specifically I would like to thank Marietta Montonen for organizing this seminar, for being very active in this, in this initiative and thank you for all for keeping the torch for the European uh, public health belt al alcohol, alcohol policies alive. Thank you, thank you for, for your attention.